Um, today we're going to talk about differentials and all the parts that make up of it. Um, this axle is actually out of a 90s S10. Um, I have the axle shafts out and I have everything pulled out. Obviously we got our diff cover. Um, inside here, still got the races in here. Um, we got our pinion gear. On our pinion gear, we've got, um, starting at the bottom of the pinion gear, or the front, um, we got our U-joint flange. Inside, right on this lip, we'll have a, um, a pinion seal. Right about here, we're going to have a outer pinion bearing. And say right about there, we're going to have an inner pinion bearing, which is going to be just right behind this gear. Um, so, going from our pinion gear, we've got the carrier which actually holds our ring gear, which um, locks up to the pinion gear. Um, inside this carrier, we'll have spider gears, um, two big ones that will actually go to the axle shafts, and two smaller ones that will um, do the dif differentiating of the carrier. Um, locked on to the bigger ones, we will have our axle shafts. Um, pretty much, axle shaft will sit in here. We'll have an axle seal an outer axle bearing, and that carrier bearing, which this will slide straight through. To hold the axle shaft in, we've got a small little C-clamp. It just slides on there and holds it in place. Um, pretty much once get it together, we'll have our carrier pin that will go through the center of our carrier and keep our spider gears locked in and let, don't let anything move too much. Um, holding our carrier, um, bearings to the axle, we will actually have two carrier bearing caps, and on each, right up under each cap, on each side of this carrier, we'll have two shims. Uh, well, multiple shims, but we'll have two sets of shims. They're very fine. They pretty much keep the carrier um, locked together and doesn't let it move anywhere, and it also sets our backlash on our pinion. Um, pretty basic setup. Uh, it's been Dylan. Thanks.